I also briefly talked about how you can scan the spleen in the kidneys. 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock position with the Schfoid process as the center. Draw a random line. It was said that the probe was placed at the 7 o'clock position near the mid axillary line. When you scan in this way, the spleen is visible. On the medial side of the spleen, as a place corresponding to the epiglottis, this is where the splenic veins and arteries pass in and out. The thin bright band in front of the spleen is the left diaphragm. Outside the diaphragm is the lowest part of the lung. That's where the left postbrenic sinus is. In case of left pleural effusion, if a cystic pattern is seen in this area, it is a left pleural effusion. You can talk like this. Normal spleen size. Normally, it should be within the picture of one plan. If you need to measure from top to bottom, measure the longest end length. And here is to measure the width in traverse. This is A. If this is B, a normal spleen size is when a times B times 0, 5, and does not exceed 20 square centimeters. Or, if the spleen is like this, measure up to the high room of the spleen. Measure like this next time. Measured like this. Here is A. When you say this is B, if the value of a times B does not exceed 20 square cm, it is a normal range. This is how you should know. If you measure it once, you can see it right away. To see the spleen, let's do a left intercostal scan. As now, the probe is placed in the left intercostal space. Scan at 7 o'clock to see the spleen. In a normal physique, the Schfoid process. Connect a line randomly from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. And where it meets the armpit line. You can see it best when you scan it at 7 o'clock. People who are a little skinny come down a little bit. You can observe the spleen by lowering the probe towards the foot and scanning it in the 7 o'clock direction. You have to look at the overall appearance of the spleen. Now this side is being obscured by lung gas. Exhale completely and test to get a better image. Instrumentation of the normal spleen is on top. Start from here and inspect all the way to the bottom margin after measuring this. Then, measure and multiply the size so that it is a right angle from the high room of the spleen and the value multiplied by zero. Five is the normal size of the spleen if it is less than 20 square centimeters. Or the spleen high room. Start here and measure the length of one side. And from there, measure the width and the length from here. It is a normal size if it does not exceed 20 square cm by multiplying the lengths shown here. If we usually put the spleen in one plan, it can be said that it is almost a normal size.